Within a short span of 14 years since its first commercial flight, the Airbus A380 has already been retired by several airlines. Not only that, the production of the aircraft was also stopped. Although, its manufacture is said to be a miracle in the field of aviation engineering, but today, the Airbus A380 has proven to be a failure in the aviation market. When Singapore Airlines took the Airbus A380 for its first commercial flight in 2007, the entire world focused on Airbus' success in building the future of air travel. But after 14 years of production, the Airbus A380 is arguably a failed project. So, in this video, we will see why the largest commercial aircraft Airbus A380 had failed. Keep watching. The concept of the Airbus A380 goes back to the 1970s and it started with the Boeing 747. One time, the iconic jumbo-sized aircraft was a huge success for the Boeing company, where this type of aircraft managed to change aviation in many ways. Its higher capacity causes a change in airline economics, in addition to lower airfares, and the extra space on board could be used for more luxurious cabin space with new classes of service. Meanwhile, other leading manufacturers at the time, such as Lockheed Martin and McDonnell Douglas, focused on the establishment of single-deck aircraft and three-engine development. Airbus itself decided to become the main competitor to Boeing by launching the A380 as a rival to the Boeing 747. Airbus was founded in 1970 with several European manufacturers, merging to compete with larger American companies. It started with the encouraging sales success of the A300 aircraft, which competes with the Boeing 707. Not long after that, Airbus expanded their ambitions to move further. Airbus then launched the dual A330 and A340 program in 1986 by designing the twin-engine and four-engine aircraft together, bringing them to market faster and more cost-effectively than launching two separate aircraft. Later, Airbus aspired to compete with Boeing by building large-capacity passenger planes. The plan began in the early 1980s, and Airbus officially announced it at the Farnborough Air Show in 1990, with a proposed target of 15% lower operating costs than the Boeing 747. The Airbus A380 is the largest commercial aircraft in the world, where this aircraft can accommodate up to 853 passengers inside. As the only commercial aircraft to have two full decks, the Airbus A380 is said to be the marvel of aviation engineering. The Airbus A380 also has more than 500 square meters of usable floor space, allowing it to offer luxurious first-class suites, bar service, beauty salons, and duty-free shops. Since its first commercial flight in 2007, the Airbus A380 has had 251 orders, with 123 of them belonging to Dubai-based Emirates Airlines. It was followed by Singapore Airlines with 19 aircrafts, Lufthansa Airlines with 14 aircrafts, and Qantas Airlines and British Airways with 12 aircrafts each. However, the Airbus A380 has already closed production and is testing its last aircraft. The cessation of production of the Airbus A380 after 14 years of production can be said to be a failure when compared to other long-haul aircraft such as the Boeing 747, whose production lasted for almost 50 years. Not only that, this entire program, which costed 25 billion US dollar, is also hit by a controversy regarding subsidies from the French and German governments. Meanwhile, in 2018, the World Trade Organization decided that the European Union EU, failed to comply with requests to end state aid to the aircraft maker, which at the same time increased trade tensions between them. Main customer of the Airbus A380 Emirates Airlines is a fast-growing global airline that is based in Dubai, UAE. Emirates has been the A380's most important customer since its inception. It placed its first order for the aircraft in 2000 and received its first delivery in 2008. The Airbus A380 has been instrumental in transforming Dubai, once unknown to the world, into one of the busiest and best operating hubs in the world. Dubai is perfectly positioned geographically to be a connecting point for travel from Europe and America to India, Southeast Asia, and the Australian region. It also makes Dubai successful in diverting a large amount of passenger traffic from other connecting points by creating more traffic on the route. By using the Airbus A380, 
which has a large number of seats. They offer flights at low prices into the market. Emirates has also affected the pricing and profitability strategies of Western Airlines on those routes by offering many cheap seats. The predicted failure of Airbus A380. When the Airbus announced that they would stop production of the A380 model, many parties had expected this situation. The announcement that its production will end in 2021 is said to be unsurprising. According to the Forbes report, the proposed construction of this plane was a bad idea from the beginning. After 14 years, the initial predictions which issued by various parties when the Airbus first proposed the idea of building a jumbo-sized plane have finally come true. Here are some of the factors that contribute to the failure of Airbus A380. 1. The Airbus A380 is too expensive. The average cost of an Airbus A380 aircraft is around 445 million US dollar and the four-engine configuration weighs up to 560,000 kilograms, making it an expensive aircraft to operate. In an industry characterized by thin margins, fuel efficiency is a key factor, which is a big issue for the Airbus A380. This became even more difficult when the rival company, Boeing, had developed aircrafts with more economical fuel consumption. What is more important, other aircraft such as the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A350-900 are also able to carry the number of passengers comparable to the amount offered by the Airbus A380. This has denied the popular fact that the Airbus A380 has the advantage of being the largest passenger plane in the world. 2. Logistical Issues Many airlines do not purchase the Airbus A380 due to its large size. With a wingspan almost three times that of a Boeing 737, it is almost impossible to completely fill an Airbus A380 on any route, including the most popular airports. As a result, the Airbus A380 could only land at 140 selected airports, which need to be modified to have larger doors that are compatible with the A380. For example, New York's JFK International Airport estimates that they are spending up to 175 million US dollar to upgrade the infrastructure at the airport to enable it to accommodate the Airbus A380 aircraft. Across the United States and Canada, only 16 airports could accommodate the Airbus A380, compared to nearly double the number of Boeing 747s. 3. COVID-19 The spread of the COVID-19 pandemic that has hit the world has caused a significant decrease in demand for air travel due to massive lockdowns which were imposed in almost all corners of the world. The travel restrictions had caused a drastic decrease in the number of daily flights. In addition, the COVID-19 pandemic had also caused flight management to follow the standard operating procedures SOP, by reducing the number of passengers for each flight to curb the spread of the epidemic. Because of this, many airlines are starting to switch to smaller aircrafts, such as the Airbus A220 as it is more cost-effective than using larger aircrafts. In conclusion, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a profound effect, especially on airlines which are the main pillars of the world's tourism sector. The news of the end of sales for the Airbus A380 which had been circulated for a long time, especially among loyal followers of aviation-related news, has eventually become a reality today due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for watching.